Welcome back, guys, to Trails from Zero, where last episode, the Chapter 4 Day 3 Patrol continued through St. Ursula, West Street, and the Residential District, where we learned the Bond had gone missing, and then Belgard Gate, as we now choose our next destination. Our next stop is the Cathedral. Looks like they're actually waiting for the bus for us this time. That is untrue, but we can believe. And after the cathedral, to the temple we go. Brown. Good. Sergeant so Major Secret, the CGF, has come to visit us today. I wonder what the nature of a visit is. Okay. Probably. Oh, the bell, yeah. My girl from the CGF came to pray again today. I've noticed she'll often stop by even on a time off. No Seeker, Noel even, I believe was her name. She's truly a polite and kind soul. The Seeker will often come here to pray even on a time off. Let's go this way first. Are the flowers still there? Well then, time to start the day. I lost most of my family ages ago. Caring for the graves is all I have left now. Sad. Sometimes people will tell me I'm wasting what time I have left in this world by spending so much of it with those who have already left. But I'm afraid I don't have a choice in the matter. This is the only way I won't forget about the one I once held most dear. That's why you'll see me visiting this grave every single day. I mean, it's nice. No matter what people may say, I will keep visiting my beloved. My lone connection to my husband now that he's gone to the other side. Yeah, the flowers are still there. It's nice. <laughs> I felt like that grace was going to hide a secret, you know what I mean? I'm wondering about that. <laughs> it deliberately didn't even give us enough that we could translate, if you know what I mean. See through the dots, as often happens. It's quiet around here with no Sunday school today. Well, I still check out the classroom though, Sister Marble might be there. Uh, it's the first time I've seen someone from the Guardian Force here at the church. This bell that Sergeant Seeker mentioned concerns me greatly. But just why exactly did that bell start ringing out of the blue like it did? And that sums up our investigation report regarding the ruins. A bell that summons fiends. I can hardly believe something like that was sitting there in the ruins all this time. It is highly likely that the bell you saw is indeed an artifact. Thank you for your report. Sir! A bell capable of summoning fiends. You're telling me something like that has been right under our noses all this time? Oh, hello, everyone. I just handed Archbishop Eralda the report of our investigation of the Moon Temple. I hope his feedback as a member of the church will help us make a bit more headway in fi figuring out just what happened there. Probably not lightly. It's, it's more the point of, would they tell us? I'll be leaving for Mines tomorrow to teach Sunday school there, so I'm currently figuring out the lesson plan. Going on trips can be exhausting, but I don't get to see the children in Mines often. So I'm excited to visit them once again. They're like two. Mines there has always been an important pillar of the Crosswell economy. Perhaps I should include that in my next lesson to raise the kids' hometown spirit. Hello, Lloyd, Ellie. Were you looking for me by a chance? Terribly sorry, but I'm a little busy today. Would you mind coming back later? That I shall. With the cathedral now done? Moon Temple it is. Our next support request. Brown. Always with sound effects. Uh, where's the bus stop? <laughs> Farewell to you. Alright, let's bus through. At high speed. Uh, it is the Moon Temple, right? <laughs> I'm not, I'm not I'm not remembering wrong now. It is. Bizzo. When it says it's been sighted in the moon temple again, does someone go in? This is the one that could drop one of my stats to zero. <laughs> does that HP count as a stat? Ah. I just want to pick this up. I think most people would argue yes. Yes, it does. Got him. 
I'll make my way through safely. It turns out that stat to zero does not equal death blow. So therefore, I'm doomed. Well, no matter where it is, it's not on the outside. So it's not in an easily seeable location. It's what we'd have to say. Alright then. Uh, I don't think we need to rest. We should always save before taking on anything dangerous. What save file am I up to, by the way? 113. So there's nothing here. Hopefully it's not deep within, but equally there shouldn't be any monsters in here. Sort out the bell. Is it on top with the bell? That's what I thought. Alright, so what are we fighting? Oh, only a hell beast. <laughs> Time to exterminate it. Or two. The zoo. Do I wait a little bit? Or do I just... Yeah, I'll wait a little bit. I will... Uh... Support Chrono Drive? Lloyd, you're on your own. Go in. As we can see. Oh, it's not with you. It's with Randy or something. It's up to you, Lloyd. Oh, arts. Big AOE arts. I'm guessing that might be... Oh, shoot. We haven't got... Well, that's irritating. I have not got a way to impede this. And it is, of course, immune to everything. Uh, Randy, you're going over here. Oh, shoot. I went with the... <laughs> I had to respond, though. What is going to happen? Okay, the zoo. A gorgeous creature that uses powerful mirage arts. His venomous fangs weaken foes. I bet it is... Scalium Tower! Yeah, that I didn't expect. So we need everyone to be really spread out. This is probably our best formation, with hills being fed in other different directions. <laughs> of course you're blinded, Randy. Okay. Randy cannot see. That is bad for Randy. Don't worry, we have... Eye drops for days. Oh no! To be honest, that wasn't bad enough in terms of spells. So the weakest to not anything. So ideally, we want to hit multiple. And it could be. But they have ways around this a little bit. Alright. Alright. Okay, I should be able to stun break one of them. If... Oh, no. It, it will work. <laughs> the other two are actually overlapping. Of course they are. Okay. Ellie could move if she wants to. So what we'll do is we will use Tio. I guess Galleon Tower might not do as good. We'll see if we can pull them together. That is a no. 
Okay, we stun break you. We can impede. Just means they're going to do it more. Debilitating bite is missed. So Lloyd will have that guy sorted unless... Unless we want to do something else. I don't know. How much damage should that matter do? Not that you can pull anyone in closer after all this point. Stun breaks delay is pretty good, isn't it? Just using a bit of a lot of CP, which isn't good. Okay, no miss on debilitating bite. Lloyd lost his strength. We're actually using a lot of CP on Lloyd to keep this up. The main reason I haven't been busting it out. Strength down, Max. Okay, we've got a thingy up. Too bad that you've been got with that, because that loses us a little bit of uh, stuff on our abilities there. Ah, uh, what do I go with? Salamander can hit both, that'd be nice. Nope. Okay, there's a crit coming up soon, so I can nuke someone. Okay, you were the one who ended up with the with a group attack. Hi. Trying to wonder if I should be feeding CP to Lloyd. So Ellie's not going to do any damage here. Can't help it. The zero is there. Bring you back up over a hundred. No, my defense. Actually, I haven't been looking at what number of damage this does. That's good enough. Okay, uh, us, uh... Okay, there's a little bit of an issue in the fact that Lloyd is dying. And I didn't even notice. <laughs> His arts defense yes. got nuked into the ground. That'll be one. Hi. My strength may be down. But my arts performance isn't. We've nearly got him. Randy, finish it. I think I got the scam. <laughs> I think I got it with Tio. Nice job, guys. And we level up. 33 for the group, apart from... Orlando. Ellie has learned a new S-Craft, Aerial Cannon. No. <laughs> Now, is this the Save Our Souls S-Craft or not? What is it? Sounds like an attack. The scrapper looks as old as the last one. Seems like it's about combining art crafts during battle. And was Ellie and Teotop might get a kick out trying this stuff in here. Oh, we could probably use this. Want to give it a try, Tio? Yes, we should test it out. Cold Gehenna has been learned. Over the moon. What was that for? Over the moon. Actually, that's a good question. I guess it's just for getting this one. Cold Gehenna shoots a projectile of orbital energy at absolute zero. Freeze fifty percent large attack. Aerial cannon is an area M bullet of light damaging attack. So, is do you want her to have the 
Healing ability in the back pocket. You just have it out for Lloyd this session because I let his health get low? I mean, it's the, uh, the Final Fantasy 14 way of healing, right? Whatever HP value is fine, as long as they're not dead. That is correct. <laughs> that is the way. Right then, on to Mines Mining Village for a small patrol. Maybe we'll go back to the SSS to report these two after then. And get another 1k into our bank. Or maybe we could just continue on for now. Yeah, that's the thing. I'm more likely to keep it with the panic kill. But... <laughs> I'd like to see the S-breaks and stuff, but... Again, it's just CP is a resource. How you use it... Matters. Out of my way, I'm going fast mode. Well, I can't run away, we already know that. That's against the rules. Should be able to completely destroy one of these in fast mode. This will get me some CP back. I'll take it. Randy's not leveling up with it, that's for sure. I would kill 500 foes it's just got. Okay. I'm getting some records now. 500 victories in battle. 1,000 and 2,000. Sure. Complete your chat without fleeing from battle? I don't do that. Okay, there's just a achievement for all of these. I guess it's an achievement for earning the extra craft, basically. Oh, you didn't notice me. Oh, do I just continue on from here? This is not that far. Just dodging the moles. Not death blow, buddies. Yeah, we play on fast mode now. We're so stylish. This is actually good for Lloyd to get a bit more CP. Get away from me, mole. Just trying to get home. They're everywhere. That's the problem when you don't take the bus. More to the point, there isn't a bus at your point. We could have added back, but is it as fast? Uh, yes, I guess it was more fast. Right then. Guns and the Mayor didn't end up coming back yesterday. Ah, uh, did something happen? Yes. <laughs> I was going to drive over to the city to pick up the mayor and Gans last night, but I got shot down. Mayor Bixon told me that they might be staying in Crosswell City for a bit. That's fine, I guess, but something in his voice just didn't sit right with me. I never heard the mayor sound so depressed before. The mayor said they had to stay in... They may have... They, they do have to stay in Crosswell City for a while. Why do you sound so depressed, though? Drugs. Reputation of someone, too. It is like he's trying to protect him still. Even now, no one knows when the mayor and Gans haven't come back yet. Oh, I can't help but worry about them. Gans's disappearance has been an enigma. I bet you he got into trouble and had to go into hiding. Maybe I've read one too many mystery novels. Give me a mystery novel. <laughs> Get to work with that. I want to see it. Mines is barely any people. This will be done in a couple of minutes. And then where? Well, I say we've got half of Crosbold done at this point. My husband told me about Gans over the phone. Apparently, he disappeared this morning. I really don't think the townsfolk could handle the news. There's no way for me to help with things. Right now, all I can do is pray to the goddess that Gans comes back safe and sound. Oh, our beloved goddess Adios, please, I beg you to let Gans come back home safely. wonder where... So there's people missing, right? We get that. And everyone else we haven't visited has obviously gone missing too. But... Where? <laughs> That's really the mystery there. The mining crew's been trying to work extra hard to take up for Gans' absence. All of them always try their best to look after each other. Even Logie, who's almost always slacking off, be going at it pretty hard. 
I look up to them so much. I want to become a miner and be able to help everyone out too. My mom seems to think it's too dangerous for me though. There's only like one location that kind of makes any kind of sense. Though he's always been prone to slacking off any way he can, so imagine my surprise when I hear he's been taking his work seriously. He's never been the kind of go-getter you'd expect of an oldest child, but there may be still be hope for him yet. The miners are at work in the mine still, no matter what. Max has been working harder than usual as of late, and well, I'm happy to see that he's motivated about his job. I hope he keeps up the good work, as long as he doesn't get himself hurt. All right, the top floors now. Your Sunday school teacher's coming soon, young girl. I've got to hand all the miners drinks in a little bit. Daddy asked me to be the one to deliver the drinks. He said it would be better that way. Huh, my daddy may seem grummy sometimes. He's actually just really shy. Monster attacks, disappearances, our miners can't catch a break, huh? This is Altman's time to stand tall and lead the rest of his crew. As his duty as the mine chief. If I still had two good legs, I'd be down there helping out those boys, but never mind, Hoffman is the mine chief. He'll point everyone in the right direction one way or another. You used to be a miner, of course. But now you can't. So you're still, uh very much living the life in your brain. We're low on manpower right now, so we've had to start working earlier. Even while Gantz is gone, we still have our jobs to do. So we're trying our best to make up for his part too. <laughs> when Gantz drops his sorry ass back here, he's gonna have to make it up to us. I was just wondering then, like, how do they have to keep mining? I feel like they mine enough to get the big money quickly. How much money do they need? How much, what is, what is an income that is a living income in Zamuria? <laughs> Especially, you know, you feel like we've got our gameplay income, so you're not exactly sure what an actual living wage is in Crossbell or anywhere. Even while Gans is gone, we still have our jobs to do, so we're trying our best to make up for his part too. Well, time to hit the mines again. We have no clue what a salary is. It looked like the mayor's wife had something important to talk about with her husband last night. Judging by the grave expression he had afterwards, it couldn't, it couldn't have been good news. I mean, I'm amazed that we haven't received a salary throughout the game. In a weird way. Considering we are a working part of the government. Gantz, come back! Wasn't the mayor going to bring him back from the city? Where are they? Don't tell me the two of them are goofing off. Yeah, that's what's going on, Logie. I heard about Gantz from the mayor's wife. Guess that explains why it's taking so long to bring him back home. I just don't want to believe Gantz would get mixed up with drugs. I'll never forgive the bastard that dragged him in into this mess. Yeah, the dealer. That's a thing we've got to find, too. You know, now that I think about it, I kind of want to stop Gans in the face with falling for such a stupid thing in the first place. I'll never forgive whatever bastard dragged Gans in that sort of life. Oh, the fact that Gans gave in to temptation himself is honestly pathetic. <laughs> well, that guy finally- when that guy finally comes home, he's getting a swift one in the jaw, trust me. Wasn't expecting quite strong sentences, it was like, oh. Well, that monster chewed me up real good. The rest of the crew had to bust their hums to pick up my slack. I owe those guys a lot, so I can't let my return go unnoticed. Let's do this. Okay, then. That is Mines Mining Village. We resume our patrol from the Entertainment District, right? Can we wipe out the entirety of Crossbell in this session? Be kind of nice, wouldn't it? Well, not wipe it out. That's what other forces are probably going to do. <laughs> You know what I mean. <laughs> you know what I mean. Did we talk to this guy? Did we let him cross the barrier? I haven't seen many police officers around today. Where have they all gone to? It's four of them! Hey there, wanna play? You won't find better service in here at Barca Casino, she always says. I tried to press lecture regarding yesterday's match. Dodged each and every one of my questions, though. Quite irritatingly, to be honest. <laughs> That's Lexa! <laughs> Barca Casino has been the talk of the town ever since yesterday's little incident. It's been a while since we had a thrilling match like that. My, we're getting a lot more patience in today than we normally do. 
<laughs> I suppose word about yesterday's high stakes game must have spread. Ever since yesterday's high stakes match, people are beginning to think of us as a more upscale establishment. That means a new wave of patrons with a whole lot of mirror to spend. Am I actually going to spend any of these? I'm going to pass the casino. I was here until late last night drinking with Lecter. He's a tall weirdo, but he has plenty of interesting stories to tell. Lecter seems to be getting along pretty well with the owner. Feels like he's already a regular here. She quite likes him. I think Lecter's getting lucky. Ah, just thinking about Lecter. I saw that brat withdraw 30,000 tokens. To be right off, I'll tell you that. I'm not going to let him one-up me. What, from the slot machine or somewhere else? If you're looking for Gans, I regret to inform you that he's absent today. I suspect that he feels ashamed to come back after yesterday's incident. That's not quite what the problem is. He's just going through some stuff. Hey, Drake, do us a solid and give us a ring if he shows his face around here, will you? Got some unfinished business with him. Understood. Has he got himself into trouble? Yes. Kind of figured I haven't seen Lecter around here today. He did mention that he had to return to the Empire during last night's conversation. Oh, what? He's already gone? I believe so. He seemed pretty disappointed to leave, but had no choice but to deal with some troublesome matter back home. I see. That's unfortunate. I have a feeling he would know something out of anyone. While true, I get the impression that he rarely speaks truthfully when divulging information. Do you seek Lecter? He was whining about having to return to the Empire last night, so I believe he's already made it back there. Send you his regards and wishes you all good luck. Oh, at least he left us that. It's very nice of him, I guess. There's Joshua and Estelle. Heard cops have been coming in and out of that hotel for the last couple of days. What are they going on about now? They gotta cut it out already. Scared away my customers. What's that say? They better hurry the hell up with what they're doing. They're screwing our business. I stayed up all night playing the slot machine. Oh, I don't know what's going to do me in first. Exhaustion of being friggin' starving. Heading home and catching some Z's sounds like a good idea. Main Street's pretty quiet today. There seems to be a fewer cars flowing in and out than usual. There's little Shizuku. Okay, Shizuku, which flavors do you want to try? It's my treat, so go ahead and order whatever's calling out to you. Oh no, you don't have to pay for me. You were already nice enough to take me around while father's busy, so... Ah, oh, don't think of it as a favor. We love hanging out with you, so we would have done this no matter what. If you're not going to pick anything, then I'll just order my favorites, okay? Excuse me, miss. I'll take three. One caramel crunch, one strawberry cheesecake, and one rum raisin. Here you are. I hope you're ready for some delicious ice cream. Sorry about that, Shizuku. Estelle can be pretty pushy at times. No, no, that's not it. I'm just so happy. What's Shizuku doing with Estelle and Joshua? It'd be rude to interrupt them. Indeed, where's Arios gone, though? I would have expected him to be accompanying her. Well, you see, this all came up, didn't it? In their planned time. Ice cream, get your ice cream. Hey, mister. Yeah, you. Come try my ice cream. I've even got a brandy flavor sample for adults with especially sophisticated palates. Ooh. Is that good? Oh, oh, wow. This is delicious. I know, right? This stuff's my favorite. There were so many other good stalls during the festival, too. True. I really wanted to take you out to eat then as well. Sure looks like they're having a great time. Oh, oh wow, this is delicious. I know, right? It's just my favorite. Oh, you're saying the same thing. So no matter who we talk to here, it's the same thing because we're leaving them be. Lady Ilya, Lady Ilya. That's strange, she's quieter than usual today. I can usually hear Ilya's heart calling out to me, but it seems to have disappeared. What if something's happened to her? Oh, uh, the troop's strangely quiet. Isn't it always time for the show to start? What are they even doing? Today's afternoon show's been delayed for some odd reason. What's the issue? Let's find out. I seem to recall you being police officers, am I correct? Y yes you are. Is something going on? Sorry to bother you, but do you have time to visit the auditorium? Troop leader's got himself into a bit of a sticky situation, so we'd appreciate some advice. Okay. Troop the leader would like to discuss something. I bet. Everyone's here. Oh, the special support section. Perfect timing. Has something happened, sir? Uh, actually. If you could, please keep what I'm about to tell you a secret. We discovered that one of our artists went missing this morning. I'm pretty sure we've mentioned him before. His name is Nikolai. Anyway, he apparently never showed up at home yesterday. We were told his family's searching for him, but they haven't had any luck yet. I tried to reach out to all of my contacts, but no one has seen him anywhere. Nikolai, is he not the man who was behaving oddly? Y yeah, that's him. 
He was timid and would make all sorts of mistakes, but right after the anniversary festival, he started to demonstrate incredible talent. You say talent, but could you be a little more specific, sir? Well, his physical prowess skyrocketed. He improved to the point where he could handle the most passionate scenes with ease. It was strange, though. It almost seemed as if he was possessed by someone or something. It really didn't seem like it was Nikolai performing at all. Honestly, I got the impression he was delirious. He seemed like a completely different person. Well, sounds like we got our answer. And he disappeared too, just like the others. Mr. Evan, would you mind leaving this case with a special support section? You might be able to find him. Truly, we would greatly appreciate your assistance. That's probably our best bet. We can rest easy with Lloyd and the crew on the case. Besides, we'll be busy enough rearranging today's program. Whoa, hold your horses. You seriously still plan on doing today's performance? Yes, we were just in the middle of discussing it. Even if Nikolai doesn't return in time, we can't just cancel the show. We'll likely have to rearrange the roles. Either way, we'll manage. Hug and Shell won't simply walk off the stage because of a setback. We'll have to take some time to adjust the roles, script, and even the scenes. Oh, we can always delay the start of the show. We just want to make it happen, that's all. I am amazed by the tenacity you applied to your craft. Is that the truth? We wouldn't have expected otherwise from them. All right, then. Best of luck with your show. If you could, keep an eye on the dressing rooms and auditorium. Nikolai may come back later. And if you do spot him, contact the SSS immediately. Of course. I'm sorry, everyone. If I'd just be more careful, this would never have happened. Please find Nikolai, Lloyd. Don't worry. We will. Better hurry, Lloyd. You're right. We need to check on the others as soon as we can. Adjusting the script will mean having to adjust the performance, too. I always try to keep an eye out for Nikolai. Kind of think of it, Nikolai was acting kind of weird last night. Almost like he was high or something. Give me a pretty nasty glare, too. Better believe I shot an equally nasty one right back at him. It's very likely you to do that, Ilya. It's a bit surprising that you give Ilya such attitude, considering who she is. Yeah, it seems like a pretty cocky move for a rookie. Didn't really think of anything of it at the time. Nikolai is someone that can easily get too into his own head, so I've always tried to keep an eye on him. Where could he run off to? What could he be doing? I think we'll just have to make it work somehow for today's performance. Nikolai returning right about now would be the best case scenario, though. Nikolai's been acting very unlike himself lately. I know you're worried, Risha. We'll get to the bottom of this. Right, I really appreciate your help, everyone. Yes. It's almost as if his personality has suddenly changed. Risha knows what it is. <laughs> How was she not? We'll need to keep a watchful eye on the audience and backstage. Oh, I hope Nikolai returns to us. I understand. Allow me to handle the auditorium. I need to inform Sully as well. She has a knack for picking up on things others would tend to miss. Oh. Maybe Sully's going in. Is this Sully's time? Incidents like this tend to affect the troops' morale and put them in weak spirits. I'm worried it will show through in the performance. We've got today's performance to deal with. I'm not sure how well that's going to pan out. I'll look after Eugene, Karelia. I'd really appreciate if you could go and check on Celine. Maybe settle her nerves a bit? Okay, leave it to me. I'll keep her company for a while. Nikolai's strange behaviors put everyone a little on edge. I can't blame them. Forming arts are already stressful enough as it is. I heard Nikolai was training late into the night recently. Now that I think about it, his sudden surge of confidence did strike me as a bit strange. Damn it, Nikolai. You can't just up and disappear without telling any of us. Nikolai had been training so rigorously as of late. I really thought it was working amazing results for him. For how much he improved, but now... Wait till you find out. You can take a performance enhancement. I knew Nikolai had been acting strange lately. Yet I turned a blind eye to him. I didn't do a single thing. I wasn't expecting it to take a turn for the worse like this. Oh no. I never tried to reach out and talk to him. I think... I think I made a horrible mistake. I don't know if you could have got through to him, to be honest.